Hello everyone and welcome to another War Leader PvP video. Today I'm bringing you some 1 vs 1s from Update 5. We've got some hunter fights, a bird fight, and a little something special that I'm not going to spoil right now, but we'll get to that in a momentarily. Uh, these are from Update 5. Uh, also, I have updated my traits setup from my last video. Uh, the traits that I'm currently running are Health for Power 1 and 2, Health for Damage 2, Damage for Power 2, Damage for Health 2, and Mastery Boost 1. So that gives me uh, basically 3 damage boosts, 3 health boosts, and that's all I'm really worried about. Um, other than that, my class traits and my racial traits have remained the same from the last time I mentioned those, so you can look that up if you're really that interested in seeing my build. But right now we got fights to get to, so let's go. Alright, so first fight takes place inside the Delving of Fror. And I was running in here because there was reports of Freeps and because I wanted to do some delving stuff. And I came around a corner and literally walked right into a hunter. And so, go, go at it, I hit the record button right after the initial shock of literally running right into him. And away we are. I am in Brawler's stance, I've gone ahead and turned on R of Command. Uh, basically, this is just a, a burst fight with me throwing out healing to keep myself alive. Uh, hunters, if you get them in melee range like this, they're pretty easy to deal with. It's been that way for a long time. Uh, go, go ahead and pop the fear right there, and I'm trying to put some damage on him. I wanted to get that Heart Seeker interrupted, didn't quite pull that off correctly, but that's okay because he's very close to being dead right now. Alright, now he's already taken off, and... Alright, right here, I have a slow on me, but I really should pot it. Um, I'm to, at the time, I wasn't really paying much attention to the slow. I was like, oh, did he just drop combat already, and he's going extra fast? Uh, no, he had not. Uh, now there, he's gone ahead and done an induction. I didn't quite see what he was doing. Hit a trap there. I'm going to go ahead and pot that in just a moment. Uh, but unfortunately, I start to stand right here, and I expect that I'm going to drop combat soon, and I'm waiting to be able to turn on Mobilize and go catch him. Uh, right now, I should just push in and finish him off. He's only got a few hundred health left. One or two crits, he's done. But instead, I go ahead and back off, and I'm just going to go ahead and heal wreck up. I uh, missed my opportunity there. I mean, I could still potentially take him, but I'm not going to run the risk of letting one crit finish me off. Alright, basically we do a, a short standoff and, and both end up healing back up. So I'm going to cut out some of the boring stuff here. But what happens is he pushes forward and I hit record once more. And he comes around the corner and here we are again in melee range. Now I'm being careful to stay behind him right now. Uh, he's finally flipped around and gone at it. I've got my death wings out. I'm just waiting for enough space in my health bar to actually pop off that heal and there it go. Alright, got another heal ready, so I'm going to go ahead and pop that off. Uh, I've got enough space for the health pot, I should be popping that off very shortly, but at the same time, I don't think I'm really going to need it, so I'm kind of preserving that and just saving myself a couple silvers. I'm going to stop right here, drop the command post to seal the win. Uh, that's going to boost all my regeneration rates and give me the extra 3% damage, and that should seal the victory for me, for the most part. Here we go, get another crit. Popped out of that, go ahead and heal back up, and I'm just going to stay right on top of him, keep flipping around, getting at his back whenever I can to slow down his damage rate, and he's only got a few hundred health here, I just need a good crit and he's going to be done, and there we go. Alright, now here I was Burglar. I saw the Burglar on the side going after a Black Arrow, I was trying to get up into the cubby hole to res the Black Arrow who died. Didn't really work, I wasn't sure what I was doing wrong there, but... Burglar decided to come after me. Uh, I actually know this Burglar. He has a minstrel as well. I've done stuff with him. Very fun guy to do things with and such. Uh, but <clears throat> when it comes to the Etmores and PvMP, we have a kind of friendly rivalry competition type thing going here. And so we go at it pretty hard. Alright, now for a Burglar fight, I am not going to bother dropping into Commander's Stance. You can pull that off against some burglars, but if you drop in a commander's stance and the burglar has legacy to addle or, or knows how to, to do interrupting, then you're just going to shoot yourself in the foot, and it's really not worth taking that risk unless you absolutely have to. And typically, if you have to, then you're probably up against somebody who's going to be able to take care of you anyway, so it's 
really not, you don't gain anything in a burglar fight by dropping out of brawler's stance. You do a lot better by staying there, using the instant quit whining of fight every time it's up, and firing off a lot of shouts. The 10 second shouts lets you blow right through touch and go, no problem, and it's just so much better to fight them off from brawlers. Black Arrow just showed up, finished him off, but I do get the killing blow. Alright, so here we are inside of Delving again. And I've tracked a Hunter, and I've gone ahead and put up multiple buffs up because there's a Hunter and a Champion here. I saw them earlier, and I've chased them through the Delving, trying to find an opportune moment to attack them. And here I go. Now uh, they just dropped that NPC, so it's just the two of them versus the one of me. I'm going to go ahead and focus down the Hunter because Hunter is the squishiest target. Uh, if I leave the Hunter unharassed, they're going to do more damage than the Champion will because by moving around I can take away a lot of the Champion's ability to deal melee damage, but a Hunter just has to set up and just keep pew 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 unless you kill them. There goes main heal, so the fight's going to take a little bit longer. And the longer that Hunter stays alive, the more trouble I'm going to be in. Got the slow there, gonna try to get out of this as fast as I can. Time to drop some heals. Now, I've put down the Banner of Terror, but I have not put up a command post, and I really should have, but all in all, I was trying to deal damage faster, and it was a fair trade-off. Uh, but I probably could have dropped the command post before I advanced after I had gotten stunned and rooted, so I should have gone ahead and used that opportunity to hit the command post and then gone at it. Uh, now it's just down to champion versus me. Uh, this champion is probably traded up for uh, martial champion and tra tanking, and I have expected him to be in glorious stance at first, which is another reason I decided to go for the hunter first, is he needed to switch stances to actually do damage. So instead I went ahead and got the hunter down, but now that it's just the two of us, uh, martial champion tra traded champ, he's going to have a lot of bubbles, but because he's not traded for damage, and in a build for that, he's not going to be able to put out enough damage to be able to force me to drop out of Brawlers, in theory. So I should be able to basically out-tank him while doing a ton of damage and self-healing and just take care of him like that. Uh, right there, that was Dire Need, so he's popped a cooldown. Still has Man Heal available, if I'm not mistaken, or Strength and Morale, so that's another 3,000 or so that I've will potentially have to deal with. Also, my power pool is starting to get pretty low. Uh, right there, I didn't assume that he'd be keep on moving, but I saw him and I flipped right around and was on his back instead of him being able to get on my back, so excellent reversal of the position and his whole plan there. Now I'm trying whenever possible to get around to the other side of him so that I can avoid his auto attacks, get through defenses. Uh, he is in fervor stance, but uh, let's, I don't know if this is actually how it works anymore, but uh, there used to be a cooldown that they could blow that would let them t have blocks while they were in fervor stance. Uh, right now I'm being very careful not to use AoEs because I don't want to pull any of this aggro. Instead I want to be able to use the aggro to finish him off. That's why I go ahead and hit him with the slow there so that the NPCs can catch up, deal some extra damage to him. Uh, now I'm getting on top of him. He pops a stun, but my stun pots off cooldown. I get another slow, and NPC with the finish. Alright, so that was my first ever 2 versus 1 victory. And I have to say, I was pretty pleased with myself after pulling that off. 2 versus 1s are hard to pull off for pretty much any class. I mean, obviously a lot depends on the composition that you end up fighting, and even more depends on just the setup. How do you get them? Uh, for that, the setup was very, very good. I had a chance to prepare beforehand, popped my defensive boosts, got armor buff, I got my evasion buff up, I ate some food, then I came in on them. Surprise attack. I, I did track the hunter early, but I don't think the hunter actually even noticed that I had tracked him or relayed that information or anything. So they really weren't expecting me, otherwise they wouldn't have been pulling NPCs, they would have been tracking and looking for me. So I managed to come at them from surprise, Banner of Terror right on top of them. They didn't move the fight far enough away from the Banner of Terror, and they stayed right there. And then my buffs gave me the edge I needed to be able to burst down the Hunter 
And then after that, it was just chipping away at the champion while keeping myself alive and a pretty simple fight. The other fights uh, were fairly straightforward, just brawler's stance and popping off heals whenever they're available. Wasn't too much more to it than that, other than keeping myself mobile and making sure that I took advantage of getting behind people's backs whenever I could. And that's the other thing that lets you stay in brawler stance longer, is if, if you make smart movements and keep on mobile meleeing, then you're able to cut down the amount of damage that comes at you and keep yourself from needing as much healing as you otherwise would. Uh, for instance, against the burglar, I'll try to create a gap if I can when I'm using my shouts, because then I'm not having him hit me while I've the shout animation plays, because that does take a little bit of time before the animation's over and I'll be back to swinging my sword. So instead I keep moving and try to get a little bit of distance as I fire off an intimidating shout or black speech. And against the hunter, uh, always going through him, getting around to his back, trying to throw off his inductions whenever I can. And that's just the only other thing that I do, but I've got a lot of practice at that, so for me, I, I barely even think about doing that, I just do it automatically, for the most part. The only thing I do want to mention is that this was during Update 5, before the last patch that went live, so that is full creep mitigation bug state. Fortunately though, war leaders have the highest mitigations. We did not get hit as hard by the mitigation bug as many of the other classes did. Spiders and Reavers really suffered from that whole bug. Uh, I remember playing my Reaver trying to go up against a Runekeeper. Uh, a very tough Runekeeper, I might add. But I got 14k health blown up before I could even do 4,000 damage to the guy and I didn't even get stunned. It was pretty disgusting in terms of just how badly messed up the mitigations were. Uh, I do have another video coming out, so I'm not going to talk about what happened to the mitigations in this last update because that will cover that. But this next video is going to be a doozy. I got a ton of one versus ones because th there was a lugs res shuffle that suddenly turned into a fight club. And so I've got a whole bunch of them to show you, like 22 plus minutes worth of it. And so, yeah, just get ready for that. I'm going to have that up as soon as I get it all edited. And uh, also my comments about update 5.1. All right. Well, that is all for this time. Good luck and have fun out there. And Ugmog is out.